Hey everybody, let me show what's going on over here today. Got a couple of drivers here on this unit that we need to find, so I'm gonna record that. What we did is with this unit here, we swapped this hard drive from an older unit. Customer had an older unit, and then we we wanted to upgrade to this one. So we took their hard drive, they had a regular hard drive. We cloned it to the SSD, so we got better performance and and then we booted it from here it's windows 10 so windows 10 is pretty pretty flexible as far as you know booting on another computer um but sometimes you might run into some drivers and in this case we did so we're going to take a look at these and see what we can find so this one at least got some name which is good so we're just gonna basically what i do there is i do a google search Try to get some tips and it's just a matter of not searching but when you've kind of spotting what makes sense or or what doesn't so i'm gonna do that uh, on this base system device when you get these what you want to do here is go uh properties details go to hardware id and this here this is vendor the vendor is 8086 and that's the only one that I know off the top of my head that's Intel. And then DEV device, 1911 is the type of device. So you have no idea, you could use this database. Let's see if it's working. The PCI database, uh, PCI lookup. Let's give it a shot, see if it's working. PCILookup.com. There might be some other databases like this. These have gone, come and gone. So let's put in there the the device. What was it? 1911. Yeah. So that's that's what this is gonna be. See the 8086. That's interesting. And the device is 1911. And it's from Intel. So this is really strange because that says that it's a Xeon processor. So I don't know what the heck is going on there. Interesting. So it could be the chipset from the unit. So, okay, we'll have to do some digging on that. They might be related. Let's see what this other one is. Probably related, yeah. So 8086, Intel, A379. Yeah, so that's related to the uh, yeah. Cannon Lake PCH thermal controller. Both related to the CPU, they're probably both related. So I'm going to take a look online on the uh, on the vendor site and see what I find. Yeah, so let me tell you what we did here so far. You want to get the motherboard model. I had to get it from here because when I looked on the board, I guess the motherboard model is right behind that video card. So I couldn't get it uh, from there. So you can get some software that'll read it for you. So what we have here is we got a, uh, we got MPG Z390 Gaming Edge AC. Went on uh, Google, went to their site, uh, MSI, and drivers. And we're gonna try the chipset driver. So I'm already at that already. Where am I at? So we're gonna try that. See if that's it. So they're both Intel related. Highly likely, uh, for whatever reason, maybe the the old ones kind of got stuck in there. So it already installed. It's asking me to restart. 
So if you take a look, they're already in there. I uh, can't even find where the heck it's at, but once we restart this, actually, we don't even have to restart it. That's pretty much it. It's telling me to restart, but we'll restart later and then I'll restart it and take a look. But you can see they already disappeared, right? So they're gone. So that was it. That was a, a simple one in this case so to wrap that up you take a look at your drivers get all the details at least with the vendor right they're both intel uh, that gave us a little hint one of them uh said xeon processor so it's not a xeon processor but it kind of leads towards cpu chipset and we took a little guess you don't really have to worry about uh, installing these if it's the wrong one it's not really gonna make a it's not gonna have a problem unless it's a BIOS you don't want to arbitrarily install a BIOS out of the blue but chipset drivers um, Wi-Fi drivers you know even video drive most of these things if they are not gonna be compatible they're gonna tell you so you know if you're really not sure uh, I would just go with it and give it a shot you should not have uh, a problem with it so that was a quick one for tonight. I'll restart it and it's gonna be clear. Actually, let's give this a restart. This is gonna restart pretty quick. This machine's pretty nice. Let's take a look. If my menu comes up, maybe not. So that unit basically is the drive that we got from a Dell. It's like a, just a regular Dell that the person had. They upgraded their computer and then they said, well, let's you know, kind of go up the, sh the ladder, right? Go up the chain. So we got the drive from that computer and put it here. So they're pretty, you know, the whole computer's you know, different, everything, but Windows 10, like I said, it's pretty flexible. So. Let me uh, just log in here. Okay. And our device manager is clear. And that's it. And that's what's going on tonight at PC911.